OpenAI is trying to implement memory into ChatGPT, but does the chatbot actually remember things or is it just storing your personal data in a way that's both clunky and dangerous? Hey friends, I'm Phil Buck and you're watching AI Roundup, your weekly digest of all things AI related. And just a reminder, if you like what we're doing here on the show, please hit that like button and sub to the channel. A couple of weeks ago, OpenAI rolled out a new memory feature to a select group of ChatGPT users. Personally, I don't have access, but most of the information about how to use this memory feature, as well as how it works, has been making the rounds. And from what I've seen, there's definitely some reasons to be concerned. Let's start today's coverage with how this feature works. Basically, if you are a user who's been selected to use memory for ChatGPT, it's automatically turned on and you can view that option under settings in the personalization tab. If you worry about the security risks of this memory feature, according to this article from Wired, you should be alerted by a pop-up notification, making you aware that it's available on your account. And if you don't want to opt in, this is your chance to turn it off. Otherwise, from the get-go, ChatGPT will begin collecting data for its memory based on your conversations. You can directly prompt ChatGPT with pieces of information you want it to remember, but even if you don't take a direct approach, it will begin to store bits of your data in the memory segment of your personalization settings. You can go into those settings at any time to view what is stored in memory as well as to delete any of those items, or you can go scorched earth on it and delete everything at once. It should be noted that this option doesn't intend to replace the custom instructions feature where you can preempt the chatbot with certain information for every new chat. But at its core, all of the various different memory-like options seem to be operating on a similar mechanism, which is to say they aren't really memory at all. Sorry for all the air quotes, but I think you get my point now. <laughs> ChatGPT and other LLMs and machine learning technologies operate under a set of tokens, and once you've exceeded the number of tokens they are built to handle, certain parts of the data you wanted to work with start slipping away. Uh, so instead of ChatGPT actually remembering what you've talked about in the days gone by from a long thread, it just has to look at these particular pieces of information you've either added in custom instructions or set up with a MyGPT or now with the memory feature where it's been storing on its own or at your instruction. In these ways, ChatGPT kind of reminds me of the protagonist of the 2000 Christopher Nolan film Memento. Leonard Shelby can only remember events like in a certain window of time and he's left to reference the numerous tattoos he's placed on his body to help him remember certain events. I, I think this is a pretty apt metaphor for ChatGPT in this circumstance because if you've seen the movie then you know that these little tattoo reminders don't always come with the proper context. Even if ChatGPT remembers certain facts from your previous conversation, it simply may not remember why, or for that matter, what's the importance of these facts. And then suddenly you're having a very different and fruitless conversation with the chatbot, despite its shiny new memory. Not to mention, you wouldn't want your sensitive information tattooed all over someone's body to be read by anyone who can get its shirt off. All right, I think that metaphor has run its course. But seriously, I've seen this particular problem with a MyGPT I set up to make goofy memes. The memes in question follow a really particular formula. They need to be a fun fact that is full of misspellings and bad grammar with a black background, white text, and a stock image that relates to the fun fact. Uh, I've used this MyGPT to generate a few of these memes to great success, but after a few attempts, it starts trying to make jokes or it references the same fun fact over and over, or it just stops using actual fun facts at all and makes up stuff about the moon made of cheese. Basically, even with my very specific instructions about how to build one of these memes, after a few rounds, it's, it's very clear it doesn't remember anything about its instructions and I have to tell it once again, don't joke. Focus on actual facts. Don't forget to use bad grammar and misspell things. It's, it's frustrating because it's very clear and they, they just they get lost in the mess and it's really only a piece of a bigger problem. I think this gets to the glaring issue with chatbots like ChatGPT, which was referenced in an article from Cyber News. Privacy researcher and vice president of trust and digital ethics at Inrup, Davy Otterheimer, is quoted to begin with, it's not memory. 
This is propaganda. They call it memory because it implies something to people to have a memory very different than what they're actually presenting, which is long-term storage. And while it's one thing to have worries that someone maybe can get access to your account and see this sensitive data in the long-term storage, it's another thing entirely that within the black box of an LLM, we literally have no idea what can and does happen to your data. Another quote from Davey puts things in perspective. If you drop ink into water, can you remove the ink? It's very, very difficult to remove ink from water. Where they say it's deleted, and we don't know what they mean specifically and provably. Yeah, I think we are finally starting to see the gaping cracks in the wall of the marketing initiative to put so many pieces of machine learning technology under the umbrella term AI. And while computer science does exactly that, with most machine learning and algorithmic technology for academic purposes, the greater populace thinks of AI as a sentient computer. And we're seeing here with this very apparent problem, trying to put a band-aid on token limits and calling it memory, there's probably many more of these type of problems around the bin with LLMs, as long as we keep referring to everything as AI. So. Do you have access to the new ChatGPT memory feature? If so, what do you think? And if not, will you be using it when it rolls out to a wider audience? Or will you be smashing that opt out button as soon as it shows up? Sound off in the comments or join us in the MSP Media Network Discord for a more heated or a more nuanced debate. And that's it for today's AI Roundup. If you're enjoying what we do here on the show, please hit that like button and sub to the channel. Signing off for today's February 28th episode of AI Roundup. I'm Phil Buck, and I'll see you next time. This has been a broadcast of the MSP Media Network.